today, you are who you are today. See? You're still me, but you're a newer version. Hey guys, so today we are going to be showing you how to effectively create an injection site on a pre-sterilized grain bag that does not have an injection port. Some of the things you're going to be needing to get this done is some duct tape, isopropyl alcohol, your syringe and needle, something to wipe your bag down with, and a tool to flame sterilize your needle. In our case, we're going to be using a butane torch. So the first step will be to wipe down the bag with isopropyl alcohol. And this will allow us to take away any dust or traces of oils that will prevent the duct tape from adhering to the bag. After you wipe the bag down, give it a couple seconds so that the alcohol can dissipate. Once you've made sure that the bag is completely dry, we are going to place the first strip of duct tape on the injection site and we've pre-cut these to about an inch by an inch they don't have to be perfect once you've made sure that they've adhered to the plastic we're going to wipe it down one more time with alcohol and then we will proceed to do this two more times for a total of three layers of tape Again, allowing the alcohol to dissipate in between layers to ensure that our adhesive is sticking. And you are going to want to do this inside of your still air box or in front of a flow hood if that is accessible to you. We're going to wipe down a second time. So once we have the three layers of duct tape, we are going to get ready to flame sterilize our needle to proceed to inject the media into the bag. Also wiping down the third layer to make sure that nothing can contaminate your sterile grains inside of the bag. To flame sterilize your needle, you will simply torch it or flame it until it is red hot. Once it's glowing for two to three seconds, we can take it away from the heat and we will cool the needle by passing some fluid through the needle. Once your needle has cooled, we will inject the bag through the tape layers we just created. Also a tip, whenever you are injecting fluid into a grain bag, try to inject the liquid nearest to the plastic so that you can visibly see the fluid drip into the grains. Immediately after removing the syringe and needle, we will apply a fourth layer of tape to ensure that this stays as sterile as possible. And there you go guys, just that easily, a very simple but yet effective way to inject liquid cultures or spores into a sterilized grain bag that does not have an injection port. Thank you.